I'm just excited that I got to fucking show somebody some Lotus tonight. That is always fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Unless they're a hater, but I don't talk to people like that, so <laughs> I don't know what that's like. <laughs> Now, and I'm sure at this point it's not going to happen, but I'm still holding out for the Mud, Water, Air, and Blood fucking tour. I'm still holding out for that. It it's not going to happen, but I want it. That would be a must. If that goes down, that would be a must. Oh, yeah. I don't care if I'm walking to the concert. I'm going. Right. I know, dude. Uh... It, it's weird because I've always, you know, watch, watch them live on YouTube. But I didn't. I didn't, I don't really watch too much like Dark Lotus live, and I started watching it. I like their fucking like the little gimmicks that they have. Like sometimes they'll have, you know, masks or they'll have uh, like wrestling masks or like a hood or something. Right. That's fucking dope. Like just it the is. different little styles that they have is fucking cool. Yeah. I'm more favorable to the the arrow cross face. But that's just me. It's still dope that they change it. Yeah. I will tell you this. I will tell you this, Panic. I don't know how many concerts you've been to or who all you've seen, but nothing will compare to a Dark Lotus concert. I mean, seeing it live is fucking great. That's the one thing that I didn't get to see that day was Dark Lotus. They probably, yeah, they could have done it, but it, it didn't go down. Damn. That it's sucks. so good. And it's so good at the gathering. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm freaking out, you guys. I'm all fucking twacked out on Dark Lotus. <laughs> you see, and you know, when I saw Dark Lotus back in 2008 for the Opaque Brotherhood tour, my brother was with me. We both went together. Tour. And he got, he actually got kicked out. They were like three songs in, and he got kicked out because oh, he was no. boshing. He was moshing with another juggalo and got pushed into a third juggalo, and that guy got pissed and punched the two of them. And the, wow. the guards, the security, threw them out instead of the guy that threw the punches. He oh, was pissed, dude. He was three songs in the Lotus and got kicked out. And I'm like, hey, it was a great show, man. Holy shit. <laughs> One of the last times I saw ICP, I can't remember what show it was, but there was, a, or no, maybe it was Twisted, I don't fucking know, there were these juggalos moshing in the very back, and they knocked into the fucking merch booth, like, they were moshing, but then they were fighting, and then they got knocked into the merch booth, and me and Mikey were standing there, and he fucking knocked us over into it, kind of, like, we didn't fall over, but we bumped it. And then the fucking security guard just starts yelling at me and Mikey like, we're the fucking drunk dudes fighting over there. I was like, oh, bitch, I wish you fucking would try to kick me out of this show. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> one of our, uh, one of my buddies went to the Hell's Pit tour, didn't even make it inside, and he got kicked out. Whoa. Like, some juggle no. something. They were doing something, and then he was like, you juggalos are down as fuck. And then it, within five seconds, he had a shitload of lasers at his head. Whoa. And yeah, they took him in for inciting a riot. And that was the last time they ever played in New Mexico until just recently when they've been going to, like, Farmington. That's fucking last nuts, Last five, dude. ten years or whatever it is. Yeah, it was fucked up, because they used to only be three hours away. Now they're fucking ten. Right. I don't know. It's funny how I feel like if I go to any other concert, the security is not like that to me ever. Um, and then when it's like a Juggalo show, they're fucking out of control. And nobody really ever does anything fucking nuts. You know what I mean? They get rowdy and right. they might smoke a blunt or something, but... Um, yeah, no, I've been, like, shoved and all kinds of crazy shit by, like, big guys. And I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I didn't know the bathroom was closed. Uh. <laughs> Damn. I know. I'm just trying to take a shit. I'm like, I really have to pee. I fucking paid $7 for those fucking shitty-ass, weak-ass mixed drinks up there, you know? <laughs> and, um... Yeah, no, they're just like, fuck you, clothesline. <laughs> For <Holy> real. <shit. laughs> it's crazy. I feel like they just, 
And they compensate weird shit from you, too. Like, I bought incense at a fucking farmer's market before I went into a show, and they're like, you can't have those in here. But they wouldn't take my lighter, so what the fuck are you doing? Like, oh, shit, I'm going to fucking burn these Nog Champa sticks in here. And um, shit might get pretty crazy, so look out for me. I'm no, no, you can't maker. smelling good. <laughs> I'm like, don't you want this? Don't you see all these shirtless, sweaty juggalos in here? God yeah. damn it. I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> That's funny. I have some of those exact same incense right now. <laughs> They're delicious. I have one burning. <laughs> <laughs> I love incense, man. So good. I've always thought it like a room smells good, like whenever you smoke and then light an incense, go leave for a little bit and then come back, like the mixture. I know. I don't know why. Incense and smoking weed, dude, hand in fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at these crazy black light mushroom candles. It's blowing my fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the black light room is a thing. I don't know. <laughs>